efforts are underway to address the 30-day readmissions reimbursement requirements, what would you do? I don't know if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Okay. I, oh. Okay, well, no, come, come up here and just yeah. say, say uh, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I'm a good teacher. <laughs> and I, I, I ran a computer business. I was one of the first uh, PC computer guys in downtown San Francisco in 1982. And ran a business for 25 years. Don't ever let me try to take somebody's bio signs. Uh, so those types of readmission questions, unfortunately, I spent a year on the uh, quality uh, health uh, committee. And from the point I understand and from where the questions come from, I'm probably just as citizen-like as most of you. But the readmission position that came out a couple of months ago might be what you're referring to. And it came out and listed the hospitals in the, uh, in the, in the region that were put up against the Affordable Care Act or uh, Obamacare. And that is to look at readmission positions. If somebody goes home with uh, a MERV infection or an, or an ulcer or has been readmitted again, what's wrong with the hospital? Why don't they fix it in the first place? I think that's the basis of the question. And because I'm not a specific care provider, I can't give you specifics. But uh, it is something that we're all aware of, we're concerned of. It's going to continue to be like that under the new uh, uh, We'll call it Obamacare. So I, I hope that's the, the direction. We we were not the lowest. We were not the best. Uh, basically, everybody in Northern California didn't do very well. So it's a it's yeah it's a measurement that's coming down, and we'll, we'll see more and more of this. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the 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 trend in reimbursement started with the federal government with um, Medicare reimbursement under the Affordable Care Act and the health care reform, and eventually coming to when everyone uh, is covered by all the exchanges that will be happening in um, by 2014, when when health care mandated coverage comes to um, to everyone under the Affordable Care Affordable Care Act, what what the federal government and eventually the state and local reimbursement we'll be looking at is, you know, are you making people well? Are you are you keeping them out of the hospital? The best indicator to um, success treatment is that the patient didn't come back to the hospital. And so as much didn't always look at, and prior to the managed care, advent of managed care in the 1980s, most hospitals really, because if you came back to the hospital, the hospital got paid again. So it was not, the incentive was never really there to, it being said for a physician whose who's job and, and, and hospitals as well, you know, you want to get people out and, and send people home, but the incentive, um, unfortunately, has not historically been to, to keep people out of the hospital as much as it has been to treat people as long as possible, you know, to make sure that that condition is cured. And so I think with the Affordable Care Act and what Alameda Hospital is facing, with it's looking at quality indicators such as readmissions, such as, as Mike mentioned, wound, wounds acquired in the hospital, infections acquired in the hospital. And those two things are things that Alameda Hospital hasn't been you know, and isn't being at risk of being um, cited or, or, or not showing poor results for. And even with the readmissions, they aren't showing poor results. But you know, it also goes to the types, the the, the um, bundle of services that you're providing. If you're providing um, more services, you know, types of sports medicine, you're probably not going to have the same readmits as if you're providing services to over 80 seniors who have, have come in for a um, congestive heart failure. They're going to tend to come back more often. So these are things that would have to be looked at, and my experience will help me to do that. 